Hey folks, I'm Dave Keyes, and welcome to edition six of Live from the Keysland House of Blues at Boogie. Those of you that might be new to the House of b and I'm going to play a song for you, and then I'm going to break it down, slow it down, give you an idea of what I'm playing, how I'm playing it, why I'm playing it. Um, and we'll just have some fun with it. I got this great uh, OV the overhead camera here. It's going to give us some views of what's going on down here. Uh, this tune this week is a, a gospel uh, boogie. It's a tune uh, by Sister Rosetta Tharp named Strange Things Happening, which is uh, pretty appropriate, I think, for everything that's going on in the world today. But uh, I learned this tune from a great rockabilly artist who I had the pleasure of working with for many years named Sleepy Labeep, who uh, recently passed away in the last six months or so. So uh, Sleepy had me to this and Sister Rosetta many, many years ago, long before people were talking about Sister Rosetta. So I'm going to send this one out to him, and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Strange. 
strange things happening. So a couple of things I'd like to show you on this one. Uh, one of the things I want to introduce to you today is the idea of the eight to the bar boogie woogie pattern. You know, those of you I've shown in, in previous lessons, this pattern, what I call the sort of walking broken eights, in G it would be say. <laughs> fundamental patterns but this pattern is a little different it's called eight to the bar and it's really I mean they're all eight to the bar patterns in a certain way because they're eighth notes so this is one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight it's actually 16 of them well eight eight in one bar because they're all eighth notes and there's eight eighth notes in a bar of four, four beats. But the pattern is very different. And I'm going to play this up an octave just so you can see it on the camera a little better. But it starts with the, the rolling octave. Okay? And then it's going to go to the third. And here's the fingering that I use. So it starts with a rolling octave in G and it ends with a rolling octave in D. But the notes in between are this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you're going to play it in C, you would do this. So that's, that's the concept. There was a tune called Beat Me Daddy A to the Bar that I heard when I was a kid. And that was how my piano teacher explained the pattern to me. You know, also, this, you know, there's different, while we're, while we're here, I might as well touch on this. You know, some, some boogies are straight, what's called straight eighths, which would be... something like the mess around you know that's what's called straight eights this is swung eights and the pattern is is also swung eights in the beat me daddy a to the bar actually though quite honestly it is swung, but it's kind of halfway between swung and straight. It's not like a super strong swung, swing, but it is, it is definitely swung, or swang, or swinged. But anyway, so that's the basic pattern. So I will go back and forth with these, and then... Because your hand can get tired doing that, so... So the pattern with this song is this. Well, well I search people say It's going to go down to the E here. I just do the rolling eighth notes. And then I'm just going to walk straight up. This is the other thing I want to touch on today. When you're going from a 2 to a 5, so this goes... It's in G, and it, the the final section of it, it goes like from the G down to the E, which is the one down to the 6. Now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to roll it up, and then in the left hand, I'm just going to take it straight up. show you 
there's something to do in the right hand, which are, is can be a good foundation for what you do on some of these turnarounds. So here we go. So from the, the G going down to the E. <laughs> Starting the walk up from the six, and now so let me explain what I'm doing here. The left hand you can see pretty easily. Give you a simple version of it first. So you're playing an A chord. So so here you're just playing the A chord. This is the seventh in the A chord, which is the G in the third. This is a very important voicing in gospel music and blues, where you have the seventh on the bottom, seventh on the bottom, third on top. That's all you need is two notes. Okay, to start, okay? So, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little parallel voicing here. And I say parallel because it's moving up here. The only thing that changes, this first step is a, a full step move. And it's all half steps, and in the in the right hand, it's a, it's half steps all the way. And keep going. Switch it up to voicing up the D. You have a, a D chord with the, the fifth in D on the bottom. This is, I mean, there's different ways of. After you've gone up, you resolved on the G. Okay, G chord. Now you're going to go down again with both hands. G with the seventh in the bottom. There's a diminished chord, an E diminished. chords, I mean, they, there are all kinds of names for them. You, it just depends how you view them and what works comfortable for you. So I'm not going to get caught up in the, uh, no, in the names of the chords, but here's the figure. So the whole run again. something you can chew on. You know, again, the riffing in the right hand is all, for is, a lot of it's based on, the pentatonic is the, is sort of the bedrock of it all. So, and you, again, you're, you're using a, a sharp five. All these notes are in play here. Here's your pentatonic scale, but you're also going to do your rolls here. Flat five, here's the flat third. You're also going to use the sharp five in different things. So let me put it all together and I'm going to, I'll give you another verse or two of this and I'll take it slow and you can digest it and we'll go from there, okay? 
parallel six. For a second, it's the G6 just going down in half steps with the suspended second here. You hear that a lot in gospel. So, where were we? Here we were. contrary motion instead of going what I did was I think I'm going to stop there because that's a a mouthful of stuff, really. But uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm sure enjoying doing it to you. Uh, doing doing it for you and, um, you know, giving something back. And I know a lot of people are home with some extra time, maybe not, not working, whatever. But, uh, you know, maybe something good will come out of this pandemic and I'll have a thousand more boogie and blues piano players and other musicians that... Uh, We'll be having some fun with this music. So that's my whole idea. I just want to share this with you folks. So listen, uh, take care of your brothers and sisters out there. And uh, stay safe. And we'll see you next Monday. All right? And like me at Dave Keys Music, my Facebook page, Dave Keys Music. Thanks, folks. See you soon.